Welcome back everybody to the channel. Yeah, I'm in the garage. I don't know if you can tell by the background, but <clears throat> I am. It's been a long time since I've had to, you know, had a lot of emotions, nerves with, you know, playoff games. Like, you know, when you know you can beat the team. Now, last year, I felt like we could, but... It seemed like they overwhelmed us a good amount of, like, times. This year, I didn't feel like that. Oh, man. Game seven, to, uh, Sunday. And enough, I got, like, a, <clears throat> a wreck. Uh, the league basketball game that we have at 420 and the game's at 330. So, I'll be able to watch some of it before we play, but... Afterwards, it'll probably be like fourth quarter or something like that. I don't know. I know those games that we did last, like two years ago or last year and a half. I don't. I forget how long ago it was. It seemed like they didn't last long because it was a running clock. So I forget how long it took. Um, huh? This sucks. This sucks. But if the trend continues. Which, uh, I don't know, I this man Kawhi, he's on a different mission. He knows he knows it was a, hey, if you lose this, you're going home. And Kawhi was the best player tonight. Um, this loss tonight is on Luka. Yes, I, you heard it, Luka. Not Porzingis, because Porzingis came out, played good defense. Now, he didn't score with a damn. So, he was doing nothing on the offensive end, but that's what he's been doing all series long. Luka, he was too passive tonight. And you can't do that. You got to get your own damn bucket. You cannot be fucking passive like this. Hell no. And he going. I know he's gonna have a different mentality for Game Seven because he's gonna see all this and know that he was too passive. Kawhi Leonard had him in a straight jacket. That's what Kendrick Perkins tweeted. Out. No, Luca really was just passive. He didn't want to take the shot. So this loss is on him. Porzingis. That most all of the losses that we've had in this series has been on him too. But the main reason is Luca being passive. K KP, boy, he finessed the hell of us. I've said this multiple times. But, dude, he had seven fucking points. And he's making $158 million. You got to be fucking kidding me, man. I wish I could go out there, be 7'3", be, ha have all this ability to be really good. And just sync it up like he has and make a hundred and fifty eight million. Kawhi Leonard put the Clippers on his back. If it wasn't now I'm gonna I have to do a shout out to Reggie Jackson. I I've hated Reggie Jackson this series with all these damn three he he makes. If it wasn't for Reggie Jackson in the first quarter, the Clippers would have been down a lot. I'm gonna be honest with you, a lot. Reggie Jackson, after the first quarter, he really didn't do much of anything, but he scored. I don't know how many points he scored, but felt like at least 15. Unreal. Reggie Jackson couldn't miss a shot in the first quarter. And after that, Kawhi Leonard said, Hey, care A, hey, get on the backpack with me, and I'm carrying all of y'all to a game seven. That's what Kawhi Leonard did, to, <clears throat> did tonight. It sucks because after Kawhi is over here doing moves that I've never seen Kawhi do, like these dribble moves and making threes and that mid-range and, like, crossover he did on Dorian Finney-Smith, that's the first time I've ever seen him do something like that. It's like, it's like, damn, this man Kawhi knows, hey, I'm not going home tonight. And he had that attitude, and he's going to have that attitude for Game 7. But Luca is going to have to have an attitude saying, get the hell out of the way. 
if you're open when I pass it to you, you got to be ready to shoot because the double team's coming. Luke, you got to have that mentality of, hey, I'm going to get mine. I don't care how many shots he takes. He's going to have to take them. Contested shots and everything. That's the only way we're going to win game seven. Um, <clears throat> but, yeah, this sucks. But, man, I'm proud of this Dallas team overall. Mine is Porzingis. <clears throat> but you can tell Luca. I know he was um, passive. But, man, if they get better players on this Dallas team, Luca is winning a championship or two at least. I, I, I'm telling you. I am telling you. <sighs> game seven. And I'll just do my game seven prediction. I think we'll beat the Clippers. Uh, I said that in seven. I'm going to keep, keep it. I think we win. And I think it's going to be a close one. I do... <sighs> I don't see a blowout. There hasn't really been a blowout in this uh, series. This has been legit the best se Excuse me, the best series out of all of them. Um, but man, this sucks. But Kawhi Leonard said, "Hey, come join my back, and I'm carrying all y'all to Game Seven. It's going to be a good one on Sunday. <sighs> Hoping Dallas wins." I'll see you guys uh, Sunday for, you know, a recap of Game 7. Peace.